have done for me. I am grateful, O Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, O Lord. I am grateful, Lord. I am grateful, O Lord. For you have done for me. I am grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. All you have done for us. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. I am grateful, oh Lord. I am grateful, oh Lord. For all you have done in my life. I am grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Oh Lord, I am grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. All you have done in our lives. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. I am grateful, oh Lord. I am grateful, O Lord, for all you have done in my life. I am grateful, O Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you, our God, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, I am saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you, our God, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the yeah. Lord, we lift up your name. With a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, our God. Hosanna in the heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the Our Miracles Radio and Television Ministries of the Jesus Christ Global Mission. I teach of Stephen John Biokoro, reaching out to you with the Word of God. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord as we approach Thanksgiving. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. You need to appreciate God for His love, for His kindness, for His mercy, for His goodness. In everything, give thanks. That's First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen. First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen. The word of God says, "In everything give thanks unto God." You don't give thanks unto God only when all is well with you. You give thanks unto God even when things are bad. Oh yeah, that was what Job did. The book of Job chapter one, two, three, four. Job praised God, worshipped God, thanked God, even though. He was under attack. He was going through a lot. And because of that, God honored him and restored back to him double all that he lost. See? God is a God of restoration. He's a God that heals. A God that blesses, that provides, that meets our needs. 
We need to appreciate him for the great, great things he's doing in our lives every day. The God of love, the God of provision, a God that supplies all our need according to his riches in glory. He answers us by fire. Why wouldn't they appreciate him? Thanking God is on a daily basis. Some people say, I will wait for Thanksgiving Day to thank God. That's not true. That's not correct. You are supposed to thank God every day in your life. We give Him thanks. We give Him praise. We give Him honor. We give Him adoration. Because when you praise Him, when you thank Him, He will be ready to do even greater things in your life. You remember the story of the ten lepers? The ten lepers came to Jesus to be cured. And Jesus prayed about them. They were healed by the power of God. And uh, nine of them went away. They never came back to say thank you to Jesus. But the Bible says that one of them came. And that one was a Samaritan. He came back to Jesus and said thank you Lord for saving me. Thank you for healing me. And Jesus asked the question. Was it not ten of you that were healed of your leprosy? How come? You only came back to appreciate me. The leper said, you see, Master, I asked them to come back, but they refused. Uh, that is why I had to come all by myself to give thanks unto you. And Jesus looked at him and said, Because you know how to thank me, to appreciate me, not only are you cured of your leprosy, you are made whole. To be made whole means to be made complete, spiritually, physically, financially, materially. To be made whole, the soul, the God kind of life. You are made complete. You are blessed. You are prospered. You are in good health, even as your soul prospered. He got a complete healing, total healing, total deliverance. But the other nine didn't get this blessing because they hurried away. They never came to thank God. They were ungrateful people. And today we see so many ungrateful people. God is doing things in their lives. They don't want to be grateful to God. They are selfish and greedy. They don't want to thank Jesus. Thank you. They don't want to tell God thank you for the good things you are doing for me. We pray God to have mercy today and forgive us our sins. The sins of ingratitude. Human beings are very ungrateful. Oh, we need to thank God. So give him praise and thanks and appreciation for saving you, for preserving you, for taking care of you, for watching over you, for helping you, for strengthening you. There were times you didn't have food to eat. God provided for you. There were times you didn't have money to meet your needs. God made a way where there is no way. There was a time you were sick and almost dying. Somehow you came out of it. There was a time you were in danger. You had issues and problems insurmountable problem. God reached out to you and helped you in the time of need. The more reason why you must appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, who sent His only God His Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, over 2,000 years ago to die for us on Calvary Street, shed His blood for the remission of our sins, and by His stripes we were healed. Today, you need to give thanks unto the Almighty God because He's a good God and the devil is a bad devil. You don't need the devil, you need Jesus, you need the Holy Spirit. You need to appreciate God for the many, many things He's doing in your life so that He can do even greater things as we move on to 2014. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you to receive the spirit of gratitude and gratefulness to appreciate God and to give Him praise and glory for all the good things He's doing in your life today. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you to receive the anointing to praise Him and to worship Him and to thank Him and to appreciate Him for His goodness and His mercy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Feel free to email us, ourmiraclestv at juno.com. Our of Miracles TV at juno.com you can call us on the phone area code 240-552-5899 240-552-5899 also the other line 
202-460-7110 We invite you to come and watch it with us right here in Jesus Christ Global Mission 850 Sligo Avenue Fourth floor, Silver Spring, Maryland, 20910. Every Saturday evening, 7 to 9 p.m., we have great services, great meetings, teaching, and prayer and intercession, word explosion, and uh, it's great. You need to come with your friends and your families, and God will do you good. Also, on Sundays, 4 p.m. to 6, we have great meetings here, and then 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., great services, anointed praise and worship testimony, and uh, healing and prayers and deliverances and teachings you will never be the same when you go to this meeting I want you to come and watch it with us Jesus loves you God loves you Felicia and I we love you and we say God bless you abundantly as you come in Jesus name we are saying thank you Jesus thank you our God we are saying thank you Jesus Thank you, our God, for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you, our God, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God, we are grateful. Oh, Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh, Lord, for all you have done in our lives. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Visit us on the website www.ourmiraclestv.myplazo.com. Ourmiraclestv.myplazo.com. Please forward this link, this message to all your friends and well wishers all over the world. Let them know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. God bless you abundantly as you receive this word of God in Jesus' name.